Hi everybody, it's Mama D. Welcome to my channel, Mama D Reacts, and we've got the fourth episode from season four of Outlander called Common Ground. So um, I know that they were with, uh, they had visited his aunt. Um, they couldn't deal with slavery, even though she gave him the whole estate. And um, so they're off to find their uh, land that they want to build on, I guess. And uh, we shall see. Um, I think he said they were going to call it Fraser's Ridge. So um, let's see what happens on this episode. I'm sure it's going to be something exciting. Commendable decision on your part, Mr. Fraser. Oh, no, he's going to sign with the Redcoats. Uh, well, uh, did not make it lightly, Your Excellency? Of course, well, with 10,000 acres of His Majesty's land at your disposal, a Herculean task lies before you. A task I welcome, sir. <laughs> Chart of your land. My secretary can make arrangements for Mistress Fraser to be accommodated here at Wilmington while she awaits establishment of your new home. It's generous of you to consider her, Your Excellency, but uh, she intends to accompany me to help build Fraser's Ridge. Well, then, as you wish. May God grant you the fortitude to overcome the hardships you will undoubtedly face in the back country. I assure you, sir. She has a great deal of fortitude. Yes, she does. She's a healer. <laughs> She's seen war and plague. Can do it later. Mm. It's very difficult to distinguish friend from foe. So-called regulators are stirring up trouble in the Piedmont. Men of shallow understanding believe themselves as sovereign arbiters of right and wrong. But what is wrong is their disorderly conduct and their continued failure to pay their taxes. Can your sheriffs not discourage them from taking matters into their own hands? Well, I believe that they too are exacerbating matters. Some have proven to be dishonest. Oh. Taxes not reaching the treasurers. Oh, okay. See, sorry to hear it. It's not your sympathy I want, Mr. Fraser. No, I meant no. Simply grateful. I gather you have supped with princes and paupers. Yes, he has. I have, Your Excellency. It's said that the Highlander has much in common with the Indian savage. You think it's so? Savagery can exist in many forms, Your Excellency. I've witnessed it in both Prince and Pauper. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? I miss my mother. Oh. I can. You don't care for her, and that there's bad blood betwixt you. But when the Baron come in, I wish she was here with me. If there's anything that I can do, it's very kind of you. And there is no other cure. I don't by my side. If things were to go wrong. Aww. Oh my. There's delivering a bear. And then there's raising one. Yeah, that's a big difference. Your mother did a fine job raising you. I've managed some work and was mostly sewing. We've enough for now. Well then, the wagon is loaded. Oh, they're leaving Fergus and Marcelli there. They will write to you the moment our beard arrives. Well, that's right, because we'll there's nowhere for them to live. Hmm. The three of you can join us. You have that faraway look in your eyes, Sassanac. That's nothing, I just... Marcelli. Thinking about Brianna. She's so radiant with child. She's almost the same age as Brianna. Sometimes I, well, I worry that it was wrong to leave her. Yeah, I don't remember much about my mother, but I know I missed her dearly when I had Bree. Now, I won't be there for her. My grandchild. This for a painting. Right, looks like one. People would say it wasn't real. The artist had imagined it. Well, near enough, you mate. Speak with God himself. Right. Compliment him on his brush strokes. Yes, and touch. <laughs> yes, he does. Just look at the sky and the sunsets and the ocean. <laughs> My country, tis of mm. the sweet land, sweet of land of liberty. Of thee I sing. Of thee I sing. Poem from your time. It's a song. 
called America. It is the same melody as God Save Great George R. King. You're telling me the Americans stole it from King George and made it their own? <laughs> we did. Oh. Heartily applaud it then. <laughs> Sing it for me, Sassanach. <laughs> no. When you sing, oh, proper and polite, like you're in church, huh? <laughs> I must confess, it makes me want to do decent things. <laughs> it don't God. take much, Jamie, for you to want to <laughs> do decent things. Well, the beginning is always <laughs> nice. The witness trees, Governor Tryon, spoke of them. Oh, wow. You mark the furthest boundary of our land. <laughs> this will be assigned to you. All who passed that they're entering Fraser's Ridge. Yeah. It's got your hackles up. There's something behind us. Yeah. <laughs> Engines, Indians. Chill out, Roy. Yeah. Put the knife in my hand and get behind me. James Fraser. I am James Fraser. Why is it the grand Oxford, seem to be 1971. In the just when my students have an essay on the poetry of the First World War to hand in? How boring is that life? Gotta be boring. Oh my god. Mount Helic, now known as Grandfather Mountain. Settled in the 1770s by Highland Scots. One nearby settlement called Fraser's Ridge provides yet another example of a Scottish name in the surrounding area. What? Claire's working her butt off, ain't she? Uncle Jamie! Uncle Jamie! Oh Lord, here they come Leave again. The Get behind me. Put your tiny hawk down. What'd that mean? Oh, that's information on Fraser's Ridge, as well as a photograph. Oh, that's the same map he had. That is so bizarre. There's his signature. Hello? Brianna. Roger. Who is it? Brianna. I have some news about your mother. My mother? Aye. Remember the wee book you gave me at the festival? Well, I was flipping through it and I saw a line. Uh, a single mention, really, about a place called Fraser's Ridge. So I wrote to the author to find out more. They lived in North Carolina from about 1768 at a settlement called Fraser's Ridge. It's not far from Mount Helican, which is now called Grandfather Mountain. Where you guys were? The place where the festival was mm -hmm. held. Mm -hmm. Aye, the same mountain range. Wow. So they were early Americans. I, I have here in front of me a land grant showing Jamie received 10,000 acres from the governor of North Carolina. You're kidding. And a letter from a woman to her family in England, which mentions a James Fraser and, quote, his wife, Claire, a healer. Mm-hmm. Are you, are you there? I'm here. 
I'm here. Roger, I cannot tell you what this means to me. Thank you for looking. Despite everything that happened. Of course. Well, I have Can you just say I miss you? Tomorrow. Yeah. Goodbye, Brianna. Oh, this isn't the Cherokee. This is a bear. Wow. A bear of Romany. Eh? Hmm. A fearful sight to behold if ever I saw one. Do more than Romany. No, it cost me a horse. Oh, you had to kill it? Come oh. to think of it, the Cherokee did tell me they'd been visited by a Skeely Yona. What? You. Skeely Yona. Yona is their word for bear, but Skeely I'm less familiar with. I was hoping to make him an offer, but didn't ken what exactly. Tobacco is always welcomed. And you're in luck. I obtained a goodly amount from your aunt. I'll be happy to oblige you a portion of it. Well, I'll only take it if you allow me to repay you. I shall take it to him at once. And then again, their customs. How do you approach him? When you enter, if you want to greet them with respect, say, Shio Ginali. Why don't you come and live with them? I would feel safe if you were there. You. Put off building your cabin until this matter is resolved. And Cherokee gave you a warning. Next time they might not be so courteous. True. I never learned how to it. What can it be? Everyone can't say to click it. I can sew a dress or a wound, but uh, knitting is not something I was ever taught. What'd you do for winter stockings in Boston then? I bought them. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone at Lally Brock knits from the time they can hold a needle. Even Jamie? What's even Jamie? Aye. Uncle Jamie knitted me a fine pair of stockings from a baptism. Ah. <laughs> Be happy to teach you. When I get my hands on a skin of wool, I'll have you knitting in no time at all. Thank God for Rolo. He's such a good watchdog. That's human. Maya, what's he doing here? Oh my God! No! No! Oh, sweet mother of God! Oh my God! How is she gonna? Yoda. Yoda. He looks so pale. I need my medical kit. We have to get him back to the shelter. Now! They putting a spell on him? Be careful, Jamie. Bears are nothing to play with. Oh my god, it's not a bear, it's a man in Indian with bear claws. Oh my god. Did they put that spell on him? Oh. Oh, thank God. You impaled him. Good job. Good job, Jamie. Oh, you got cut on the arm, though. The only you could be attacked and mauled by a human bear and just carry him back. Wow. Shio. Denali. You killed him? He speaks English. I did. Skiri Yona. Skiri Yona. He's only a man. Not a monster. Oftentimes, man is monster. <laughs> Amen to that, bro. <laughs> I knew he was a man. Yes. He lived among us. Was once a great warrior. No more. He armed his woman one year ago. 
He laid with her against her wishes. Wow. That is not our way. So he was banished. He hmm. came to us again this year, destroying shelters, stealing food. But we could not kill what was already dead to us. Hmm. Now, there will be no more trouble from him. And from you. There will be trouble for me, my family. Death follows white men like the great spirit follows that. And young we are. I'm not skilly. Right, exactly. My family and I wish to live peacefully. Our chief, the Wohali, he prays that no more blood is spilled between us. Thank God. That is our wish as well. It means bear killer. Yeah. That is how you will be known to our people. <laughs> bear killer. Awesome. Bear killer. <laughs> Ian's like, whoa, that's too Join cool, us. man. <laughs> oh, awesome. Please. I'm Gidua. This is my husband's grandmother, Adawehi. Adawehi. I'm Claire. She had a dream about you. You became a white raven. Mm. You flew over the water and swallowed the moon. Oh my. The white raven flew back and laid an egg in the palm of her hand. The egg split open and there was a shining stone inside. She knew this was great magic, that the stone could heal sickness. She's a healer. A mm. very powerful healer. Yep, so are you. My husband's grandmother says that you have medicine now, but you will have more. When your hair is white like snow, uh -huh. you will have wisdom beyond time. I am wasted. That's a good You must not be troubled. Death is sent from the gods. It will not be your fault. What about you, Ray? I am. It is with grief that the news is received of the death by fire of James Mackenzie Fraser and his wife in a conflagration that destroyed the home and the settlement of Fraser's Ridge. It's their obituary. Oh my God. The date's smudged. 21st of January, 17. 70 something. Wow. I received the land in 1768, so that means that sometime in the next 12 years, they die. Wow. I can't tell her. You have to tell her. Uh, shouldn't she know the truth? Yes. Her mother's dead, Roger. She's been dead, Fee. For over 200 years. Brianna knows that much. But she and could go back and maybe save him from dying. This will just break her heart all over again. Oh man, that had to be hard work back in them days. Wow. Oh, look! Carrying my wife. The foundation. Oh. This will be the door. Find your heights. Keep out the cold. Mm. Uh, and over here, the wee pantry and the hearth. And I'll perform a hearth blessing. Oh, perhaps we should start sooner rather than later. We need all the help we can get. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so nice when they get it done. She, he has to tell her. She can come back in time and maybe save him. Hello. Hello. This is Roger Wakefield. Um, may I speak with Brianna Randall? This is Gail, her roommate. Is this the Roger? The Roger. Uh, it says, I, 
Is she at home? No, no, she's not. She didn't tell you? Tell, tell you me what? what? She went to Scotland. To Scotland, why? To visit her mother. Oh. How long ago? Yes, she traveled through the stone. She must have found out on her own. Thanks, Gil. She did her own research and found Try it. Try it again. Left. She's already through the stones. She's already through the stones. Yep. She's already through the stones. I bet you she did research on her own and found out that, that found that obituary. But maybe I'm wrong. So we'll see on the next episode. Um, I love their little house they're making. So cute. Um, that's kind of scary that they died in a house fire. So hopefully she goes back and tries to mourn them so that it doesn't happen. But. Uh, leave your comments below, and we'll see you on the next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It doesn't cost anything. It's not going to be painful. All you do is click the little red button that says subscribe. If you want to know when new videos come out, you click the little button, and it'll send you a notice. Doesn't mean you have to watch it, so it's